As trick-or-treating gets underway tomorrow night, some families in one neighborhood in Colorado Springs hope you will stop by to check out their display. They have spent countless hours over the last year designing and creating it. And as I talked with them earlier this week, they told me what they get out of it is worth far more than the effort they put in. You sunk my ship, but you cannot have me treasure. <laughs> The pirate war scene set up outside of three homes on the north side of Colorado Springs is filled with cannons, battered ships, and of course, treasure. We have shot cannons and his ship is sinking and they are firing back at us. The storyline is the creative work of several neighbors who came together over the last year to bring some fun to their neighborhood streets on the spookiest night of the year. It's been late nights, weekends for the last probably four months. Why do you do it? It's fun. I don't know. The, kid, the kids love it. Every, and we get kids coming by here all summer long waiting to ask what we're doing, when's going to open. Scott Rehorst has been creating large Halloween displays both inside and outside his family's home for the last seven years. It all started with an idea from his son Dylan to create a scene with a jumping spider. I just found the Screams hilarious. But Halloween's all about yeah. screams. Where do you get the vision for this? YouTube. <laughs> YouTube's a scary black hole. It sucks you in. This year, neighbors at two other homes jumped in to create displays too. My neighbors are the best in the world. I mean, they're my friends first and neighbors second. So we're always hanging out and always talking. And kind of one thing led to the other, and we just decided to do pirates. Piracy bears. At the two's home, you'll see a pirate castle and smoking cannon. A jail at their front door has the remnants of two pirates. So Scott uses, he actually used his 3D printer to make quite a bit of things. The scene ends at the Ratcliffe home as skeletons take off with gold and jewels. So it is a relatively small rowboat um, with a windshield wiper motor that actually powers the oars. So as they're trying to make their escape, one of the pirates says, Row faster. And the, the guy does. He actually rows a little bit faster. Scott did all the animatronics. For everything that is animatronics, he built the cannons out of, you know, cardboard tubes and styrofoam and fiberglass. And he's really the mastermind behind it. I just ride his coattails. And uh, I built the boat, which was, you know, an afternoon, but compared to the months that uh, Scott and Shad had put into this. I got off pretty easy and at the end of the day my guys wind up with all the treasures. How much money do you think you've invested? Amazon is like changing tires outside of our neighborhood because they come here so often that I got to set up like a repair area yeah. over there, but we have worn Amazon out. A worthwhile investment they hope will create even more connections with families nearby. Because we've been here for 20 years. Yeah. And it seemed like for a little while the kids kind of disappeared and then as lately we've been seeing more outside playing and you know seeing the kids interact and really get into this has been just really fun. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool to see it in person. The families are also hoping you will help them fill up this treasure chest you see on your screen with canned goods to be donated to people in need in our community. That display is set up in the Bison Ridge neighborhood at the corner of Looking Glass and Black Elk Ways. It's just northwest of Powers Boulevard and Old Ranch Road. We have a map for you posted at KOAA.com.